Yo, what's going on? My name is Devon, and I'm going to be bringing you a very short tutorial on how to get that other room effect, maybe a party from outside or in the house effect. And I'm also going to be creating a whole bunch of other videos along with this to, you know, kind of fill in the void of everything else. If you guys want to skip and go ahead to later in the video, I'll have a very, very, very brief, if you already know what you're doing with Audacity and you just want to get the very basics and go. But this portion of it, I will explain everything. Uh, the I'll probably put that down in the description somewhere if you wanted to hurry up and get the heck out of here. Because I know everybody's time is, you know, good. Anyway, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to start off by opening up Audacity. It's a digital audio workshop. And if you don't have it, you can get it online for free. Just Google audacity free please or something I don't know uh, you'll, you'll figure it out just don't get a virus if you come to me so the second thing you want to do is you want to import your song you can do that by dragging it in from your folder I believe the same thing goes with a Mac I'm I'm sure it follows the same concept and this will convert over to Mac and Linux and all that stuff as long as it runs audacity so you can already see I picked out this uh, this classic Timeless song here, running in the 90s. Uh, just to give you a little hint on what it sounds like without playing too much, here we go. Okay, crisp, clean, you get the point, right? So. What you want to do is very simple. I promise you, it only takes maybe five minutes tops. It doesn't even, I, I think even a baby could do this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to double click it. So that way you highlight everything. I don't really know the hot key for it. I think it's control L, but don't, don't quote me on that. Second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this is all gray. That means it's highlighted. And then you want to scroll over to your effects tab. Everyone, as far as I know should have this ability to do and click on low pass filter click that and then it'll come up with this little menu that'll say roll off decibels per octave cutoff frequency is pretty much that hurts so this may look like a lot but it's really not I promise you so I'm gonna tell you my preset my preset that I normally do with a song is 36 decibels and the cutoff frequency will be 1500 go ahead and click enter or ok whichever you prefer let it load up as soon as it loads up let's take a listen to it one more time with it being high quality ok now we're gonna control Y that at least I am you don't have to do this part this is just me and let's listen to what it sounds like now. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad, right? But of course, depending on the song, you're gonna have to change it up a little bit more and more each time. So what you can do is you can keep going back, go to the effects, go back to low pass filter, and this time I'm gonna do it 12, and this time I'm going to do 500. This is all experimentation from here to get the one, or to get, pretty much to get the way you want it to sound. It, it varies. Let, let, let's check it out now. I don't know how it's going to sound, but you never know. I think that sounds pretty dang good uh, let's let's go to the breakdown of the song let's see how that sounds I think that sounds great a material right there I mean of course I could always go back and tweak it but you never know so you got to this part of the video um, thank you for watching if you wanted to watch the in the nutshell version please feel free to you can always leave a like comment and subscribe and if you have any kind of difficulties just please comment down below it's only going to take me a couple seconds to read it as long as i get back to you i can't say that i'll get back to you immediately but i'll do my best to get back 
So now we're in the in the nutshell version. So you pretty much know how to use Audacity thick and thin. I won't say thick and thin, but first thing you want to do is of course import your song. Wait for it to hurry up and uh wow that took forever. Anyway, go and double click it. Select low pass filter. Choose 36 here and choose 1500. So roll off 36, cut off 1500. And then it should sound something like this. Okay, I experimented earlier in the video and I found out what sounds probably the best. Um, I'm gonna go back to the low pass filter again. Choose 12 decibels this time and choose 500 for the cutoff frequency. Click OK and have a listen this time. Now that sounds like somebody's in the other room. Let's hear the breakdown of it. See, now that was super simple, right? It didn't even take that much. Um, I, I don't really know what else to say. That, that was, it was very simple. I'm surprised a lot of people don't know about this. I'm actually happy that I could teach you all how to do this. Super simple. I guess I'll keep doing these videos because they don't really take that much time to do and they give you kind of a sense of satisfaction if you get them done. So without that, um, yeah, just, Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, rate, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment it up. I will definitely listen to any questions that you have if you need anything that's regarding this. Without further ado, I bid you goodbye. See you, nerds.